Greetings everyone. So today I want to talk about the HDMI port on your devices, not the cable, the port itself, because each ports depend on your device doesn't actually transport audio and video. Even though the cable is capable of transmitting audio and video, there are some equipment out there that only does one or the other. So I've had several questions about this topic on my channel, and that's what I want to talk about in this video. Okay, so even though the cable, HDMI cable that is, is capable of transmitting audio and video, it doesn't mean that your equipment can do both audio and video. And I've had these questions about this topic on my channel, and that's why I want to break it down and let you know that there are some equipment out there that only does audio, some of them only do video, and it all depends on which direction that device is capable of outputting or inputting. So I had a question about a guy who's trying to hook up his projector to a soundbar. But when I looked at it, I realized his projector can only do video audio in to the HDMI cable. And the rest of the ports that can do audio is RCA type ports. So he was trying to connect his projector to the soundbar using the HDMI port, but that's not going to work because his HDMI port is actually in and not out. This goes for a lot of other things too. You know, the HDMI port on your laptop, for instance, is usually used for an output and not an input. But I've run into instance where people were asking me how can they hook up an external device and make it show on their laptop, but the laptop is not designed for in, it's actually designed for out. The things like your TV, those are the equipment that can go in or out depend on which port you use. The HDMI ARC port was designed to let the sound come from the TV to the soundbar and it loops back and forth. So it's a return audio channel. With that feature, you have the capability to control the volume that's going to the soundbar using the TV remote. Now there are a lot of computer monitors out there that has the option for you to use the HDMI port. Those ports are usually designed for just video in. Some of them are designed to take in audio but then your monitor would have to have speaker built in in order for you to use that feature. There's HDMI ports on your desktop computer. Those are usually designed to transmit video out to the computer monitor, or you can even hook it up to a regular TV. But then again, you probably just get the video part of it because most of those equipment, the video card is designed to just output video. The cable itself can transmit audio and video, but the equipment itself might be the thing that's limiting you to transmit audio and video because some of them just do audio only and some just do video only. The soundbar that you connect to your TV, it has no video feature on it. So the only thing it's going to transmit is audio. Now you can connect devices to the soundbar and let it actually feed to the TV, but all the soundbar is doing is passing through the audio and the video to the TV itself. But going into the soundbar, you just transmit an audio. Now, most of the time, your device is already marked on the back of it to let you know that this HDMI port is in or out. And that way, you'll know for sure if it's something you want to hook up that feeds the video in or feed the video out. The ones that's not marked, like the HDMI port on your laptop, for instance, that's going to always be for sure audio and video out. And there's a lot of projectors out there that you hook up to do presentation and stuff like that. Those ports are usually in. And they usually have other ports that you can use to feed out the audio. Okay, so I hope this was helpful because I ran into a lot of people asking questions about this HDMI port and not the cable itself, just the port. They're not getting any picture, they're not getting any sound. And I just want to break it down to let you know that you got to make sure that port has the capability of what you're trying to do because not all HDMI ports are designed the way that you think. And I just want to let you know, it has nothing to do with the cable itself. The cable can transmit audio and video, but the port itself might be designed to just limit you to do one thing or another. All right. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was going to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for taking the time for watching. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.